Hi guys, my name is Adama and I welcome you back to my channel Flights of Fantasy. So how have you guys been? First of all, please accept my sincere apologies. I couldn't create any video for you guys for the past two weeks, but I promise to make up for it. So what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about something very interesting today. So we all know Flying is considered as one of the safest forms of transportation, but it may not feel like it when turbulence strikes. What exactly is that rough air pilots always talk about? How much disturbance is considered normal? Please watch this video till the end to find out more. If you have any questions, please do write to me. So without much ado, let's get started. These so-called eddies of rough air are caused by four main categories of interference. So which are these four categories of interference? Number one, thermal. When the surface is sufficiently warm, vertical currents of air form. As an aircraft flies through these, the occupants will experience turbulent conditions. Number two, mechanical. This is caused by interference of surface features on the horizontal flow of air. This could include mountains, tall buildings, trees, etc. The amount of turbulence depends on speed of wind, the size of obstruction, the shape of obstruction and atmospheric conditions. An aircraft will experience turbulence as it flies over and behind the object. Number three, shear. When the direction or speed of wind changes dramatically within a short horizontal or vertical distance, an aircraft will experience turbulence when it flies through this boundary. The fourth one is aerodynamics. Turbulence caused by an aircraft as it flies through the air, also known as wake turbulence. If another aircraft were to fly behind this, it would experience turbulence. Now, let's talk about the intensity of turbulence. The intensities of turbulence is separated into four levels. So, we can say turbulence is separated into four levels of intensity. Each different level of intensity can be described from both reaction of the aircraft as well as reaction inside the aircraft. Level 1 is light turbulence. Level 2, moderate turbulence. Level 3, severe. Level 4, extreme turbulence. While turbulence can feel scary, airplanes are designed to withstand massive amounts of it. A plane cannot be flipped upside down, thrown into a tailspin or otherwise flung from the sky by even the mightiest gust of air pocket. Conditions might be annoying and uncomfortable, but trust me, the plane is not going to crash. Airplane pilots usually know when the turbulence is coming, thanks to weather reports and a game of telephone played at 30,000 feet. When the pilots hit choppy air, they alert air traffic control as well as the pilots guiding other planes along the same flight path. Pilots or ground support can often spot turbulent air on the radar or note some tetel weather patterns and brace themselves and their passengers. There is one type of turbulence that no one can see coming through called the clear air turbulence, which seemingly comes out of nowhere in clear skies. The kind of turbulence, this kind of turbulence can be the most dangerous as its sudden onset gives no time for the flight crew to warn the passengers to return their seats, to return to their seats and buckle up. When the pilot or flight crew suggests that you wear your seatbelt whenever you are in your seat, they're trying to keep you safe in case of a clear air turbulence. So please listen to them. The single best thing you can do when turbulence hits is to get your seat, get to your seat and buckle up. It's the smartest thing a passenger can do when it gets bumpy. So 
to this we come to an end of this video if you like this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the bell icon and be notified every time i post a video i'll see you guys very soon with another interesting video till then stay happy and healthy this is arvita signing off from flights of fantasy